Yeah, so guys, it is wild here. Today, I'm gonna be going over a super simple and easy way to set up an auto exec for CS2. This is super handy if you play on LAN events and just wanna have consistent settings or if you wanna set up different configs that you can use for maybe prac or just regular playing. But guys, real quick, if you are looking for any CS2 skins, that's where today's video sponsor comes in handy, which is Skins Monkey, the safe, automated, easy to use CS2 trading site that gives you an insane 35% deposit bonus for every cash deposit when using code WILD. Also, by using the code, you can claim up to a $5 free bonus on your first $100 trade. No deposit needed. It's definitely worth trading at least $100 on that first trade, just to make sure you're making the most of it. And don't worry, there are a ton of deposit methods, so it's super easy to load up. And using the filters, you can find some skins that are just right for you and trade away any of your old skins that you're bored of. And in case you have any issues, they also offer 24-7 live chat support. So what are you waiting for? If you want to grab yourself some fresh new skins for 2025 from their crazy amount of skins up for grabs, make sure to go and check them out. But yeah, let's get back to the video. Video. So you guys, to start with, open up Steam, and on the left-hand side, right-click on CS2 and click Properties. Then in your launch options, if you want your auto exec to instantly run, then do plus exec space auto exec dot CFG. I will leave this down below in the description. But to actually create this file, we need to go down to Installed Files here, click on the Browse button, and then just double-click into Game, double-click into CS:GO, and then double-click into CFG. Then, guys, to actually create the file, what we need to do here is click View, click Show, and then make sure that file name extensions is available so as you can see here we can now see .cfg then right click click new and click text document and then just you know make that new text document we will edit this but let's firstly rename it and there you go guys i've named it auto exec and then what we need to do though is change txt to c F G and then click enter. As you can see, this will pop up. Yes, you do want to change this to a .cfg file. And just to make sure, as you can see under type, it says CFG file here. Now you can double click into it and it will open up. There'll be nothing in there. Now in my auto exec, there's just a ton of my personal binds. One thing that is cool about this document is it doesn't need to be named autoexec.cfg. Let's say, for example, you wanted to copy simple settings. You could name his autoexec simple.cfg. And then as you can see here, guys, all you need to do is type in exec space autoexec.cfg and click enter. And then as you can see, it says execing autoexec.cfg. And yeah, it's that simple. And then, yeah, for example, as I said earlier, if you wanted to use simple settings and you name the file simple.cfg, you'd literally just have to type in exec simple.cfg and click enter and the file will be executed and yeah guys that's pretty much it super easy super simple it's just a really nice way in never losing your settings as you can keep this file safe so let's say you get a new pc and for whatever reason all your settings reset well it doesn't matter anyway because if you use an auto exec then as soon as you load up your game boom all your settings will be there so yeah hopefully this video helped if it did please do leave a like and if you're not already subscribed with noties on make sure to do so as i am daily double uploading but yeah guys that's pretty much it